give Rice a lot of credit. Uh, they put a lot into this one. You can tell they were coming off a good win last week, so you know they were feeling pretty good about themselves. So at the end of the day, it was a heck of a football game. Uh, you know, uh, it's the 44th time for the Bayou Bucket. I mean, it means something to a lot of people, like I said all week, and it's not surprising this was a close game. Uh, I'm happy with the way our team just kept playing and, and found a way to win at the end. Very happy with that. Next question. Dana, have you ever started a season with you know four games in a row quite like this? Nah. You know, all the, all, you know this close and this. No, I, 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 I can't remember that. And there's things that I've seen in these four games that I haven't seen ever in 32 years of coaching. I mean, it's, we'll, we'll, we'll line up and do it again next week. Six nights from the night, got another one. Tulane's going to come in pretty hot. What are some of those things, Dana? Was it more that over? The yeah, inability to be able to play defense with no time on the clock. God dang. End of half, end of end of game. I mean, it's it's every game. I mean, how about offensively? We get a dang first down and victory it. We can't. I mean, our short yardage offense was was pitiful. And you know, I'm not just mad at the defense or some of this stuff. I mean, offense can get victory formation and close the damn game out. We couldn't. You know, so then we got to give them the ball, and they almost go 96 yards and put them out into, what, 24 seconds? God dang, I hadn't seen anything like this ever. Uh, you know, I don't know how many penalties we had, probably 20, you know, and that's four games in a row with double digits. I, I don't I don't know. I've coached the same way for 32 years, and this is hard, and it's, it's getting irritated. 